Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV Video Production Program. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm Nilika Sonny Burke. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. Residents of St. Mary's are demanding a return of library funds after they were used for security costs at a drag queen event. Del Brian Crosby received a response last week from the Maryland Attorney General after asking for her advice regarding money that was taken from St. Mary's County Library's budget to cover Sheriff's Office security costs for Drag Queen Storytime event at Lexington Park Library back in June. The commissioners moved more than $2,400 from the library budget to the Sheriff's Office budget to compensate for extra security, which is up to 16 deputies that was provided for the event. St. Mary's School Board members want to spread more awareness of Naviance, a college and career readiness program. School counselors are providing presentations on the topic to their students throughout the school days. Naviance helps students think about the future. Middle school students are expecting to create academic goals, complete surveys, and look into potential career fields. High school students look into colleges, scholarships, and career fields. Officials from the Navy are encouraging young people to get involved. On October 3rd, the Southern Maryland Navy Alliance held a meeting in historic St. Mary's City where one of the major subjects was how to attract and keep young people in Southern Maryland. President of the Alliance, Tim Healy, had this to say about the meeting. This is an annual dinner to give the community a flavor of what's in Washington and to remind Washington that the work done in Southern Maryland is important too. Other members have suggested hangar and base tours to connect the community with the Navy. On Tuesday, Grand Mills Hornets cross country head coach Danny Morris was not only pleased with the times from his boys and girls, but also with the cooler temperatures that have evaded Southern Maryland Athletic Conference runners for most of the season. Morris said, I think the meeting went pretty well. We had pretty much ideal conditions. You could not ask for a better race day in terms of temperatures. It was nice and overcast, so the sun wasn't too hot or anything. On the boys' side, Henningtown improved to 9-1 to overall on the season after sweeping the tri-meet and picking up wins over Grant Mills 17-45. Following a major league career that spanned nearly 20 years with three clubs, former Baltimore Orioles catcher Andy Echebarren spent the next 40 seasons as a coach and manager in the minor leagues, including one season with Southern Maryland Blue Crabs. On October 5th, Echebarren passed away at the age of 76. Current Blue Crabs manager Stan Cliburn and general manager Courtney Nitchell offered this insight into the passing of the longtime player Echebarren, along with Butch Hobson, helped shape the culture of Blue Crabs baseball inside the clubhouse and the community which still remains one of the best cultures in Atlantic League today. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm Dylan Sunny Birch. Signing off.